What does it mean to be alive? This question, seemingly simple, has captivated scientists and philosophers for centuries. Life, in all its diversity and complexity, distinguishes itself from the inanimate matter of the universe. From the towering redwoods to the microscopic bacteria, life teems on Earth, each organism a testament to the intricate processes that define the living world. We can observe life all around us, a bird soaring through the sky, a fish navigating a coral reef, a flower blooming in the spring. These are all manifestations of life. These organisms, diverse as they may seem, share a set of fundamental characteristics that bind them together. Understanding these characteristics allows us to appreciate the remarkable phenomenon that is life. It enables us to differentiate a living organism from a non-living object. This distinction, fundamental to the study of biology, forms the foundation for our exploration of the living world. Despite their incredible diversity, all living organisms share a set of defining characteristics. These characteristics are what set them apart from non-living entities and allow them to thrive in various environments. These characteristics, working together in a delicate balance, create the complex tapestry of life. From the smallest microorganisms to the largest mammals, each organism plays a role in maintaining the equilibrium of ecosystems. Firstly, all living organisms are highly organized. This organization is evident at every level, from the molecular to the systemic. They are composed of cells, the basic units of life. Each cell is a marvel of biological engineering, containing intricate structures that perform specific functions. These cells are further organized into tissues, organs, and organ systems, each level contributing to the overall function of the organism. For example, in humans, muscle tissues work together to enable movement, while the nervous system coordinates these actions. This hierarchical organization is a hallmark of life. It ensures that all parts of an organism work in harmony, allowing it to survive and reproduce. Another crucial characteristic is metabolism. Metabolism encompasses all the chemical reactions that occur within an organism to maintain life. Living organisms require energy to maintain their organization and carry out life processes. This energy is derived from various sources, such as sunlight for plants and food for animals. They obtain this energy through metabolism, a complex network of chemical reactions that occur within their cells. These reactions are meticulously regulated to ensure efficiency and balance. Metabolism involves the breakdown of nutrients to release energy and the building of complex molecules essential for life. For instance, during digestion, food is broken down into simpler molecules that can be used by cells. Living organisms also demonstrate the remarkable ability to grow and develop. Growth and development are fundamental aspects of life, allowing organisms to reach maturity and reproduce. Growth involves an increase in size and mass, often accompanied by cell division. This process is essential for the repair and maintenance of tissues. Development, on the other hand, refers to the changes an organism undergoes throughout its lifespan, from a single cell to a mature individual. This includes processes such as metamorphosis in insects and amphibians. The ability to respond to stimuli is another defining feature of living organisms. This responsiveness is crucial for adapting to changing environments and ensuring survival. Whether it's a plant bending towards sunlight or an animal fleeing from danger, these responses are crucial for survival. They enable organisms to find food, avoid harm and reproduce. Organisms must be able to sense and react to changes in their environment to find food, avoid predators, and ultimately thrive. This interaction with the environment is a dynamic process, constantly shaping and being shaped by the organisms within it. In addition to these characteristics, living organisms often engage in complex interactions with other species. These interactions can be competitive, symbiotic, or predatory, each playing a role in the balance of ecosystems. Another fundamental characteristic of living organisms is the presence of genetic material. DNA, the molecule of life, carries the instructions for growth, development and reproduction. This genetic material is passed from one generation to the next, 
ensuring the continuity of life. Genetic variation within populations is also crucial for evolution and adaptation to changing environments. Through the process of evolution, living organisms have adapted to a wide range of environments, leading to the incredible diversity of life we see today. This diversity is a testament to the resilience and adaptability of life on Earth. Understanding the characteristics of living organisms is not only fascinating, but also essential for conservation efforts. By recognizing what makes life unique, we can better protect and preserve the biodiversity of our planet for future generations. The distinction between living and non-living entities might seem obvious at first glance. We often categorize things around us into these two broad groups without much thought. However, when we delve deeper, the lines can become blurred. The complexity of life and the simplicity of non-living things sometimes overlap in surprising ways. While non-living things may exhibit some characteristics of life, they lack the complete set of properties that define a living organism. For example, a crystal can grow and change shape, but it does so through a process that is fundamentally different from biological growth. For instance, a crystal can grow in size, but its growth is a simple accretion of material unlike the complex, organized growth of an organism. Crystals grow by adding more molecules to their structure in a repetitive and predictable pattern. Similarly, a fire might seem to consume fuel and release energy like a living thing, but it lacks the intricate metabolic pathways and cellular organization that characterize life. Fire is a chemical reaction that releases energy, but it does not have cells, DNA, or the ability to reproduce. The key difference lies in the dynamic and coordinated nature of life processes. Living organisms are composed of cells, the basic units of life, which carry out a multitude of functions necessary for survival. Living organisms exhibit a remarkable level of complexity and organization, both in their structure and function. Each cell in a living organism works in harmony with others, contributing to the overall functioning of the organism. They are capable of self-regulation, maintaining a stable internal environment even as the external environment changes. This self-regulation is known as homeostasis. This ability, known as homeostasis, is crucial for the survival of living organisms. It allows them to adapt to varying conditions and maintain the balance necessary for life. In contrast, non-living things lack this internal organization and self-regulation. They do not have the mechanisms to maintain a stable internal state. They are subject to the laws of physics and chemistry, but do not possess the inherent drive to maintain their own existence that is characteristic of life. Non-living things react to external forces, but do not have the internal processes to sustain themselves. Understanding the distinction between living and non-living is fundamental to biology. It helps us appreciate the complexity of life and the unique characteristics that set living organisms apart from the inanimate world. As we continue to explore the natural world, the boundary between living and non-living will always be a fascinating area of study, revealing the intricate tapestry of life and the simplicity of the non-living. Within the realm of living organisms, two kingdoms stand out, plants and animals. These two groups encompass a vast array of species, each uniquely adapted to their environments. While both share the fundamental characteristics of life, such as growth, reproduction, and response to stimuli, they differ significantly in their morphology, physiology, and ecological roles. These differences are evident at the cellular level, where plant and animal cells exhibit distinct structures and functions. These differences reflect their distinct evolutionary paths and adaptations to their environments. Plants and animals have evolved over millions of years, developing unique traits that enable them to survive and thrive in diverse habitats. Plants, rooted in place, are masters of capturing light energy from the sun and converting it into chemical energy through photosynthesis. This process occurs in specialized organelles called chloroplasts, which contain the pigment chlorophyll. Chlorophyll absorbs sunlight, driving the synthesis of glucose, which serves as an energy source for the plant. They are the primary producers in most ecosystems, forming the base of the food chain. By converting solar energy into a form that can be used by other organisms, 
plants support a wide range of life forms, from herbivores to top predators. Their cells are encased in rigid cell walls, providing structural support, and they possess specialized organelles called chloroplasts, where photosynthesis takes place. The cell wall, composed mainly of cellulose, gives plants their characteristic rigidity and strength, allowing them to grow tall and withstand various environmental stresses. Animals, on the other hand, are motile heterotrophs, meaning they obtain their food by consuming other organisms. Unlike plants, animals must move to find food, mates, and suitable habitats. This mobility is a key feature that distinguishes animals from plants. They exhibit a wide range of adaptations for locomotion, sensing their environment, and capturing prey. These adaptations include specialized limbs for movement, sensory organs for detecting changes in their surroundings, and various hunting strategies to capture and consume their prey. Their cells lack cell walls, allowing for greater flexibility, and they possess specialized tissues for movement, digestion, and nervous coordination. Muscle tissues enable movement, while nerve tissues facilitate rapid communication within the body, allowing animals to respond quickly to environmental stimuli. These differences highlight the remarkable diversity of life on Earth. The variety of forms and functions seen in plants and animals is a testament to the complexity and adaptability of life. While plants and animals represent two distinct branches of the tree of life, they are interconnected in countless ways, forming the intricate web of relationships that characterizes ecosystems worldwide. These interactions include symbiotic relationships, where different species live in close association, benefiting from each other in various ways. This interconnectedness underscores the importance of both plants and animals in maintaining the balance and health of ecosystems.